Before talking about redirection of streams, let me quickly summarize key points of what we know so far. Every process has three different data streams – STD in, STD out and STDR. And by default, when you are connected to shell and start corresponding process like LS, MKD, IR, you name or something else, picture looks like this. There is keyboard and using keyboard you enter some commands. And those commands are sent to std in of the shell, because shell is also process, like bash shell or ch shell. And it also has those three data streams – std in, std out and stdr. And when you go to the terminal and enter ls, you actually interact with std in of shell process. And inside of that process, it creates one more process and connects to std in of that process, in this example ls process. Also, by default, there will be connection from std out and stdr data streams of new process to corresponding shell process. And that's why if I enter ls here and press enter, I see this output in the terminal. This because data stream from ls process std out was redirected to shell process and shell process has printed this result to the screen. That's how it works. Same applies to stdr data stream. If I enter again mkdir without any arguments, I see text that was produced by stdr of mkdir process. It was sent to shell process and shell process has produced this error to the screen. That's how it works. But afterwards, when I have tried to redirect the output from std out of specific process to the file, we have tried it above using command this one, for example, we have redirected std out data stream of ls process to the file. I have changed this default behavior and I have moved std out stream to the file. Here I have sent output from std out to the file. Like this. Alright, let's now proceed and next let me explain you what are numeric IDs of std in, std out and stdr and how you could redirect simultaneously std out data stream and stdr data stream. And also I'll show you first example of the process that accepts data via std in data stream because actually ls and mkdr processes don't accept any input via std in. You are not able to supply some additional text to std in of ls process. Alright, let's proceed and I'll see you next. Bye.